I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and today I'm very happy to have on my channel uh, Deathwish. We are finishing up a Fire Knight challenge that he proposed and I agreed to. And so uh, today we get to watch the demise of Deathwish in Fire Knight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about it. We'll see. <laughs> How you doing, man? Thanks for coming on. Well, thank you so much for having me, man. Uh, it has been great. It has, it has been tough, and you know, a lot of sleepless nights for <laughs> doing this. Uh, but I, I really appreciate that we did this together. I really hope if it's successful, we can do some more for you guys, and uh, for you to win some cool prizes too, and be entertained of our competition, guys. Yeah, I had a lot of fun uh, doing this. We did. I did a little bit of work on this on uh, Twitch on stream, um, and so I had some people. Uh, kind of ruined me on giving me some suggestions which were actually turned out to be pretty good and helpful for me i do feel like maybe there's uh room for improvement it's strangely enough there are people in my discord that posted better times than myself so um i'm still uh still kind of interested to see uh who's going to end up winning that because i know we're going to be uh we're going to be extending that uh about 24 hours so i think by the time this comes out uh, Monday. It should be Monday morning uh, in the States. Um, we're going to be uh, ending the competition by uh, by the end of that night. So Monday evening, we're going to kind of uh, put a stop to that. And, uh, you know, if you so if you guys want to you want to get in on this, get a free account takeover, win some gems, go ahead and uh, hit us up in the discord, post your best times and keep competing. But uh, this was a challenge, huh? This was not easy. Yeah, definitely. I, I I was I'm kind of a tryhard. I just uh, wanted to try as hard as possible and see and test everything out and just just even if I don't win, uh, for me to know that I did the best that I could is enough. That that I mean that's a great outlook. Myself, I just wanted to beat you. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I mean seriously, it was it was a uh, this was I so I haven't done Fire Night 16 in forever, and you forget how difficult that is once you get a set team at a high level you forget how hard some of those lower levels are actually and i i really struggled in the beginning to to get to get a team like even under uh even under two minutes was rough for me i don't know how you felt about it but uh well uh at the start it isn't as hard but if you want to take uh times you know lower and lower and lower it gets hard you know to just get it lower and lower and lower the first time, my first time, it was actually good, but obviously taking it lower was the hardest. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like I might be in for a bit of a, a challenge, the way you're talking about it. <laughs> I hope so. it's at least a challenge. I hope it's at least close. Oh, I'm pretty sure. My my first run, my very first run was about four minutes. Um, oh, and so um... I had to slowly, slowly take myself down from there. Um, pretty quickly we was able to get under two minutes. That's not, that wasn't the problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. I ended up, uh, I went, I tried a bunch of different champions, uh, too, trying to make this work. Um, Tyrell, uh, Light Sworn. I kind of went back and forth on trying to use uh, turn meter reduction. Um, or like I even tried Grizzled Jarl for the heal reduction. Um, there were a lot of, a lot of options that I kind of, I cycled through a bit on. Um, I don't know. Did, were there any champions that you were you tested and just like had, ended up not going with? This is exactly the thing. It was all about testing like this one slot to see how it will be better. And I had a, a specific strategy in mind in the end. So I just had to see which champion is gonna do what I need him to do fastest or even do it at all. Mm. And in the end, it just clicked like Exodia. So this is why I think I, I did pretty well because I finally found the champion. Finally found exactly the pieces and uh, finally did like the strategy I had at the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a... A, I'm, I'm so sorry. You're you... okay. <laughs> someone is someone is calling me. Holy, hey, are you serious? Life, life okay, does not stop up, right? for the YouTube. Remember that, <laughs> people at home. Life doesn't stop just because you're filming. All right, keeps going. When mom calls, you have to answer. It's just the rules of the road. No, it was not mom, so they're in, in trouble, but it's fine. It's fine. We can... <laughs> well, that's very cool, man. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and just, uh, we can go ahead and show the runs, and then we'll see uh, We'll see how exactly. we do. I'm, I'm nervously excited. <laughs> You're nervously excited. 
Well, I mean, you are the dungeon guy, so I'm I'm the clan boss guy. This is definitely uh, more up your alley, but I feel like uh, I'm I'm at least gonna give you a run for your money. All right, well, let's go ahead. Well, let's just watch the videos. We'll see who is the fastest at Fire Knight 16. Are you ready? Because once it when, yeah. it's it once it starts, it starts quick. I know, I know. All right, my friend. Here we go. Let's see how. Let's see how we do. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. All right, I'm nervous. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. All right. All right. There we go. My so start the, is just a half mine, second faster. Mine is the top. So there, oh my, my God. waves go. You got through that so fast. <laughs> exactly. This was this was the plan. Oh, just you brought the waves very fast. The waves are done. Full sworn. Oh my gosh. We have this was the this was my idea to just get as fast as possible to the waves while being risky with squishy champions. And the whole idea was to get weak in the Chris defense and make Royal Guard one shot the whole fire night. Uh -huh. Uh which was the whole plan. Oh, that's smart. Dang. That's looking well. That's pretty smart. I took a risk with the waves, but uh we're pretty if, close if it though. All we're pretty yeah. close. We're getting close. It's the same damage and... right now. Oh my okay. god, so close. Oh so now uh now comes the big the big part. Oh, this no. is this is this is this oh, is Oh, you got me. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh Damn, man. The got me. Wow. Oh. Your your room is doing oh, oh it's it was almost kind of the same. But oh. uh wow. Wow, this was so close. Oh. What is exactly your time? Minute, what is exactly your time? Minute in 2 seconds is my time. Oh, wow, that's good. You know, this is scary because before my 52 seconds, I hit 58 and the one before that was a minute and two. And if I just didn't try it two more times, it would have been equal. And it wow. Been, wow. Wow. Damn. So close. Oh, man. You did. You, we, we both did kind of great. These are insane times, to be honest. Those are really good. I can't believe. Son of a gun. <laughs> Skull crown, huh? Yeah. That was that was the yeah. secret sauce on that. Exactly, I like that. that was the secret sauce. You 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 are the fun boss guy. It was interesting. You had Tyrell in there too. I thought was really interesting. I am. I'm gonna talk. We we can talk about the runs and the strategies right hey, now, right? Yeah. Let me let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna play these again. We can kind of talk about it as. Talk we're over going. them. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Talk over them. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. That's fine. Um. So. First, obviously, you're the clan boss guy, and my place is definitely dungeons. It's the place I took most of the time of my gameplay ever. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a fair advantage, too. And you <laughs> did insanely well. It's actually very close. Uh, so, as I said, kind of before, my whole idea uh, I had school, uh, school, uh, school, school instead of school crown to ensure survival, but uh, I was doing like a minute and 10 seconds at most, I think, with that team. Mm -hmm. So I decided to take the risk and see if Apothecary is enough for me to survive or if I can kill the Fire Knight fast enough so he doesn't kill my team. Mm -hmm. And I took the risk to just get someone who is going to destroy the waves, which was School Crown. Yep. Uh, and I'm like, oh, even if she's squishy, she's going to survive this one turn and it will be enough for my Royal Guard to finish everything. Mm -hmm. So School Crown smashed the waves. She one shot the first wave. Um, we went through the second wave very fast and this is the end where I placed the decreased defense and weaken. And I know that my Royal Guard is going to do insane damage to just almost one shot the Fire Knight. And this was, this was kind of the whole plan of it. Wow. Just wow. Look at that school crown. It, she's just, she just, That's just nasty. The, I, I think the two things that I hadn't considered about her, because I'd seen a run where like Skull Crown or Sinesha was in it. And I was like, that's an interesting idea to get through the waves. But I'm like, oh, but it's not going to be good against the Fire Knight. Against but Fire Knight, yeah. But the thing I didn't even consider was the weaken. That weaken debuff makes Royal Guards smash so it, much more. It effective. made Royal Guard. That damage surprised me honestly. That was. It surprised me when I saw it. Yeah. Um, it's interesting you brought in Aethar as well, though. I thought that is interesting. Oh yeah, I I, I wanted to, to to talk about each single champion. I forgot to do that. So, uh, the whole idea be, be, between like uh, the other champions, uh, Tera obviously, you know, the turn meter and the and the decrease defense. Right, right, obviously, right. His role is obvious. Uh, and if it wasn't for his decrease turn meter, at the end, this would have, wouldn't work on time. So he was crucial too, uh, obviously, with the decrease defense. 
Uh, and he had that decrease attack to ensure some survival if it, you know, went to a bad place. Uh, Apothecary is kind of obvious. I knew he's going to be kind of the rare MVP for us. Um, and uh, you used Apothecary too, right? Uh, yeah, I think I did use Apothecary. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of the obvious choice. Apothecary is amazing, honestly, everywhere. Agreed. Uh, I, but actually, sort of... I actually tried Haikatoon for a little bit there, but oh. strangely enough, my Haikatoon is really fast, like 250. But strangely enough, my apothecary was more effective. Oh, than my is, the triple, the triple hit was really yeah, big. He's perfect. Uh, and the Eotar row, I, I am so in love with Eotar because always, you know, everyone knows him as this good epic. Mm -hmm. And I've always praised Eotar a lot that he can do a lot of stuff, not only be an uh, unkillable like uh, something for unkillables. So what he does here is he, he has two hit A1, which is not good enough. But he has that four, four hit, and my Eotar, I made him pretty fast. So uh, the whole idea behind him was if Royal Guard somehow doesn't deal that big damage, the poisons, I was hoping the poisons could finish the Fire Knight very fast, you know, ensure the secured kill on the Fire Knight. Well, I, I, I can tell you because I brought Aethar in my run as well, and his poisons I, definitely have some effect. He's amazing, man. Like, he's honestly one of the most underrated guys. And actually, his brand is a very hard hitting ability if he's built uh, with attack. It is. My my Eotar was for Clambos, so obviously he's, he was defensive. Mm -hmm. I had to redo him for this run, and I made him full offense, just with that a bit of defense to make sure he survives. Mm -hmm. So when he hits these brands and everything, he deals some extra damage. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I'm I'm actually really impressed. I'm really impressed Thank you. with this run. That was really good. That means a lot. I. I, I, I just want, I, I just want to bring Skull Crown into my team now and see if it if it reduces buy, my time. So like I went a different direction. So I brought in Fellhound, who I didn't even have level. Like I leveled up Fellhound for this uh, thing because I want. I've been wanting to do that anyway, but I wanted to see yeah. how he do. And that reflect damage ability was really big. I also brought in. Uh, I brought in Stagnite instead of Tyrell as well. Um, mm. I really like Stagnite and cool. just very good. Uh, his AOE comes around, his decreased defense comes around a little faster as well, and I felt like that would be helpful. Um, we also don't go through the waves quite as quickly as you do. So, But you can see, like, right there, Royal Guard wastes his takedown and just, like, kills me uh, on the inside every time. Yeah, this, is, this is a bad thing because if he, if he hit it, it would have been even closer if he hit it right, mm -hmm. right time. Mm -hmm. I actually, like what I, I could have speed-tuned him a little better to make that work, but, yeah. you know. That was the whole plan for me, getting insanely fast through waves and then just smashing the Fire Knight with that takedown. Uh, but I actually think that Aerial made a very big difference, just because uh, I know Stag Knight is great, uh, but if it wasn't for that decreased meter, might have beaten me, because the, he's going to reset his shield, and then the takedown is going to be wasted and everything. So that decrease was massive in my run. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, god dang it. My heart, my problem was he, uh, so like I got stuck on the ways is basically what happens. Cause like Royal Guard uses the takedown on the first move. No problem. But like, it's the second and third, like here where they get a couple extra attacks. And so it refreshes at the wrong time for the fire Knight, And I hadn't, hadn't really figured out how to do it. Cause he gets that one hit in there with the hamstring, but like he doesn't get this next attack off fast enough. If he could have done his takedown right before that, we would have been in really good shape there. But uh, uh, this is why I said it just clicked for me. Uh, it just everything happened as I wanted. It just clicked, and uh, you know it's hard if you want to just think about how to spin to and perfectly. It just happened for me perfectly. I'm it's so really upset right now. That was so well no, done. Come on, come on. We, you are the Columbus master. If it was a Columbus competition, you would smash me, but like you would destroy me. I don't so care. I don't care. It's really well done. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, I, I can't help myself. We're going to do this. I'm going to... Okay, I need, let's see. I need to see if just bringing in Skull Crown would make a difference. I kind of certified finally that Dungeons is my place. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah, I would second that notion. Man, I really wanted to use Fel, Felhound. I felt like Felhound was going to yeah, be the secret. But clearly Aethar. Aethar just does work. I yeah. Mean, you know, I'm telling you, man, Aethar is so underrated. I got Aethar 
like right as I was hitting Ultra Nightmare, I got Aethar and I was like, oh, finally I have a Poisoner and just didn't do it for me. Like I was doing better with just keeping Steel Skull on my team. So I never really fully explored all the possibilities that uh, that he has. I, but I kind of hit though. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, I'll just say like he's so good in the dungeons specifically. Um, like way better than well, I had realized. It was my second epic like at the start of my account. The first one was Sikara, obviously terrible. Mm. And, uh, then I put Aotar and I was kind of, I kind of had to use him everywhere. So I kind of know like how he does everywhere. I, I had to use him everywhere. He was my first good epic. Yeah. This is why I love him so much. Oh man. Well, we're not, I don't think this is going to beat your time. Uh, it could beat you. Let's see how out there. This is this is why I was kind of thinking, you know, these champions like Felhound, who can replace like the counter attack and everything. Yeah. This was my first thought immediately, but I'm like, I want this to be fast, not consistent. So uh, if I don't focus on surviving or like taking the shield <laughs> a lot, if I focus on taking it one time and just one shot the Fire Knight, this could be insane times. And it yeah. actually worked. And this was kind of the strategy. Wow. Spellhound is great to help you, you know, take down the shoot consistently, but it isn't going to help with the times. Yeah, yeah, very true. Well, I have to say that this was very impressive. I'm, you have won, you've won this <laughs> round, sir. I will, I will, you I tip my hat to you in victory. Thank you. Thank you so much. The legendary hat, man. I love the hats. <laughs> well, you, uh, you, you earned it. You get revenge. Say again? You can you will have to chance to get to get revenge too. Oh yeah, well, you know, we'll we'll have to discuss about well, what what comes next because uh, I don't take I don't take losing lightning lightly. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was really great though, man. Uh, this is awesome. So um, hey, fun. everybody out there, like you still got another day. Put together your times. I'm pretty sure you guys can beat uh, what both me and. Uh, me and Deathwish did there. I think it's I think it's attainable, challenging, but attainable. So I really look forward to it, guys. Uh, definitely go ahead, hit the, hit those discords. Uh, let us know uh, the the post that you're doing. Um, I think we're gonna. I think we'll announce the winners uh, next week sometime, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so pay attention to Deathwish channel. Uh, we'll put the we'll put the winner announcements in there, and I'll be contacting uh, contacting you guys individually as well. So. Uh, thank you so much for this death wish. This is a great idea. I know people got really got excited in the discord being able to, I mean, this is, this is player created content, but you know, opening it up at this challenge to everybody. I think people really got behind that. So, uh, we'll try and do some more of this for sure. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this with me, man. It was uh, really a lot of fun. Well, thank you guys for coming by. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to go to Deathwish channel. Subscribe to him, too. There's going to be links down below for his channel, his Discord, mine, and my, and my Discord, too. Um, guys, thank you so much for coming by. Till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.